What's on guys, Seamus here, and today I'm bringing you guys some Saints Row 4 news. Um, if you haven't heard, Saints Row 4 was banned in Australia because of its uh, drug use and some future DLC weapons that pretty much aren't uh, safe for the eyes of young Australians, or even the adults in that matter. Even though we do have an R18 rating system, half the stuff is not allowed. Uh, past, past couple of days, we have also found out that the Australian release has been pushed back. Uh, most retailers, if you were to go buy the game in a physical copy, whether it be Xbox, PS3, or PC, it's been pushed back August 30th, which is an extra 10 days past the worldwide release. Or, if you were to go on Steam, some reason it's September 20th, which is a whole month past the release, which I'm not 100% sure what Steam's doing there. It could be a typo, but a lot of people are saying out that no, this is actually when the game will be released a long, long time ago. And if you're a true uh, Saints Row fan, you really want the game on release, and you know, if you're in Australia, you can either wait 10 to 30 days. Um, if you want to pre order these games um, and find this, you'll see a picture right now of EB Games. You'll see that it is released August 30th. Uh, many other retailers around here, like Dick Smith, aren't selling the game. JB Hi-Fi broadly just says August 2013, but a picture on the screen right now says Harvey Norman, Saints Row 4 Commander-in-Chief Edition to be released August 22nd, which is two days after the Worldwide release, but it's still, you know, fairly close to when we should have actually gotten it. Not too sure why Harvey Norman and then EB Games have a different um, release date, considering it's pushed back Australia-wide. Um, picture right now shows you a picture of Steam, where it does say September 20th, so if you people that want to keep it, you know, on Steam, you aren't going to get it, um, straight away. But, there are other ways to get around this, which I will personally be using myself. You can go to an online CD Key uh, retailer site, such as CD Key House, Gamefly, or GamesPlanet.uk, which I'll put in the descriptions below. Um, the good thing about these CD Key House sites that they are a lot cheaper in price. You're probably saving twenty to thirty dollars, maybe even more if you wait a month or two. But also, what you would also keep in mind is that these keys are not from Australia. Now, most of these keys, like CD Key House and Gamefly, these are um, United States keys, which will work on your Steam account, but you will not get restricted for the low violence content, which is a good thing and a way to get around it on Steam. You will be able to get the game 30 days earlier and get it pretty much when the world gets it. Uh, you want to stay away from the Australian CD Key uh, resellers because they will have the low violence version on them and they will be capped to the MA15+, Plus, which no one here wants at all. Um, for you console people, keep in mind that if you do import the game from places outside of Australia, I would highly recommend for the Xbox 360, somewhere along the lines of the UK or New Zealand, um, or probably stay away from America because of the whole um, DLC. You buy an American copy, you might not be able to buy the Australian DLC from the marketplace. If you are on PS3, buy it wherever you want. You guys, uh, Sony's gotten rid of the region lock. Pretty much done what Xbox should have done. So you can buy the game wherever. You guys are okay. Um, save your money. Um, pretty much, that's about it. I'm just trying to, you know, bring this to your attention that it has been pushed back. So a lot of people still think that it's going to be released August 20th. Um, links in the description below if you want to buy pre-order from EB Games and Harvey Norman. Um, my name is Seamus. Have a nice day. Peace.